You may be wondering, how do I know what season it is? There's a lot of evidence you can find in the world around you to tell you what season it is. We will look at how you can watch the weather, plants, and animals to determine the season. If you pay close attention to the weather, you'll be able to, to identify what season it is. In the summer, the days are long and filled with sunshine. Because there are more hours of day than night, this is what makes the temperatures so hot. As you notice the weather getting cooler, this is a sign for you that fall is on its way. During the fall, days begin to get shorter and the nights get longer, and this causes the temperatures to get cooler. As the days continue to get shorter and the weather gets even colder, you know it is time to prepare for winter. In the winter, there are more hours of night than day, and this is why the temperatures are so cold. These cold temperatures can cause lakes, rivers, and other bodies of water to freeze. This is also the season when big snowstorms come our way. As the weather begins to get warmer, you can predict that spring is right around the corner. In the spring, the days start to get longer, and this causes the weather to get warmer. You can also expect there to be some rain in the spring, which helps the trees, flowers, and other plants that are beginning to grow again. Another way you can know what season it is, is to watch how plants change. In the summer, trees and grass are bright green and fully alive. Flowers are growing and in full bloom. As summer comes to an end, you can notice changes in plants that tell you fall is coming. In the fall, trees begin to stop making food. When trees stop making food, they also stop making chlorophyll, which is what gives leaves their green color. When we see leaves change color, that is a sign that trees are preparing for the next season, winter. Other plants also begin to stop growing and prepare for the sleep they will have in the winter. In the winter, trees lose all of their leaves. This actually helps the trees to not use as much energy and stay alive during the cold winter. Some plants actually die during the winter because they can't get any food. When you see leaves starting to come back on trees, you know that spring is right around the bend. The tree begins making food again, and this allows the tree to start growing leaves again. Flowers start to bloom, and other plants start to sprout. You can also figure out what season it is based on what animals are doing. In the summer, most animals are finding food and are busy taking care of babies that were born in the spring. In the fall, many animals start to prepare for the winter. Bears start looking for a den where they, they will hibernate for the winter. They also start eating as much as they can because they do not eat when they are hibernating. Other animals, like chipmunks and squirrels, store food in hidden places where they will be able to find it when there is hardly any food in the winter. Many birds fly south to be in a warmer place for the winter. In the winter, many animals, like bears, hibernate and sleep through the coldest months of the year. Animals that do stay outside for the winter, like deer, grow thick fur so they are able to stay warm. As the weather gets warmer and it approaches spring, animals also do different things. Bears come out of hibernating and begin to eagerly search for food. They are very hungry from all their months of going without food. Many animals also have their babies in the spring. If you pay attention to what is happening with the weather, plants, and animals around you, you will know exactly what season it is.